With great power comes great responsibilities. And what I'm teaching you guys now is a power. You're not supposed to use it for bad things. You're only supposed to use this to help other people or to help yourself. So hi and welcome back yo Bitcoin Day Traders to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. And today I'm gonna teach you how to recover your Android wallet pin. Before you can do this, you need to install BTC Recover. In my last video, I've done a very comprehensive explanation how to install the BTC Recover. So be sure to first watch that video and install BTC Recover the right way. Once we have installed BTC Recover, we can do this Android wallet pin recovery. We're gonna use the same wallet again that I use in all my videos. First press the three little dots in the top right corner, then go to safety. As you see, it says change your spending pin and we can't do that because we need our old pin and we forgot our pin, the pin that we made a couple of videos ago. Let's put in a spending pin. Pin is gonna be 3694. So what we want to do now is make a backup of our wallet and give it a password, Bitcoin Day Trader. Let's save it and we have to archive it because we need it on our PC. As usual, I'm gonna use Gmail and I'm going to send it to myself, Bitcoin Day Trader channel at Gmail and press send. He's sending the message. Message has been sent. Let's get our backup. We gotta go to our Gmail. If you are able to connect to your device using the computer, that's okay too, but I used email and we have to download this file in the BTC Recover Master folder. On your C drive, double click on BTC Recover Master. We need to save it in this main folder. So let's save it there, but let's rename it because this is a hard name to type. Let's just rename it to Bitcoin. That's a nice name for a wallet, am I right? It's not Bitcoin wallet, so let's call it Bitcoin and save it there. So right now we have in this directory the file Bitcoin here. And what we want to do is we want BTC Recover to run and try all pin passwords that are between 0000 and 10000. So that's a couple, a couple that's like 10,000 of different passwords it's gonna try. What we have to do now before we can run it is we have to create a wildcard in our token file. So we don't have a token file yet as you see here there's no token. So let's open a notepad, standard notepad. Let's write a token in it. We want it to check, that's what this means, check digits and we want it between one and four digits D for digits. That's what we're gonna use this time. If you remember that your password is four digits, then you need to write down this. If it is five digits, you can do that. Five, uh, I, I can't remember it exactly, but it was something with four numbers. Save this file on our C drive. Go to the folder B2C Recover Master and save it. And let's call it token.txt. As you see here, our token.txt is saved in this folder. That is the setup that we need. We need to have our wallet in the folder and we need to have a token file and the token file is the information what kind of passwords it's going to use. Right now we can go to command, write down cmd here in start menu and click here on command.exe. Then you get a command screen. You can change your command screen by clicking here and the properties of the command screen and you can change fonts or whatever. That's why I have a bigger one. So what we're going to do now is we are going to test our token file first. We want it to list our password. So first we need to go to the directory of as you see here c double dot slash btc recover master so type here in the command prompt cd for change directory c change d directory change directory to our c drive go to the btc recover master folder press enter. If we type directory, that's what D-I-R means, we're gonna see everything that's within this directory. And as you see now here, this is the directory that we're in right now, in our BTC Recover Master folder. What we're gonna do now is start Python and we're gonna open BTC Recover.py. Let's type in c double dot slash python two seven slash python. We are in the BTC Recovery Master folder now and we're asking it to go to python 27 and start python.exe and what we want python to do is we want it to open this file btc recover.py btc recover.py and we want some help so what happened now is it's gonna list 
all the arguments that we can use. And what we're gonna use first is we want to test our token list that we created, this token.txt, so token list and the file. And we want it to list our password, list pass. As you see here, just list all passwords combinations for the test and exit. So what we do now is press the arrow up, so we have the same action again. So if you press up, you see you can change all the things that you have entered before. We don't want help, we want it to use a token list and the token list is called token.txt, that's the notepad file that we just created. And we want it to list our passwords and press enter. And well, as you see, it's making a lot of passwords right now. These are all the combinations that it's gonna try. Let me try and explain this a little bit better. If we go back to our token file, and we change, for instance, this four into a three, and let's save it, press Ctrl S to save it, and we give it the same command. You see, it's using only three digitals. If we put it on two, save it, press up, enter, it only uses two digitals. But I remember that it was something with four. So save it with four, check it again. Yeah, it's using four digitals now. So these are all the pins that it's going to try. Instead of listing our passwords, we're going to give BTC Recover the command that we have an Android pin that it needs to check. So give it Android pin, that means check out the pin of this wallet, space, say wallet that means what is the wallet so just the name of the wallet that was bitcoin with a capital b and it is capital dependent so bitcoin enter and now it's gonna ask us for our password as you can see down here and that password is the password of the backup that we just created at the beginning of this video and that was bitcoin day trader press enter and now it's gonna start the brute force and it's gonna take a while as you see and so now the waiting game begins and it depends on your PC. If you have a faster PC, then this would probably go a lot faster. I don't have a fast PC, I have an old PC. Like I told you guys before, a 2008 PC. We have to wait for the brute force, it takes a while, yeah. As you see, this is gonna take a while, but this is how you brute force it. There, there isn't any more brute than this brute force. Cause it's just gonna simply try out every, every combination of pins there is within four digits. So that's a lot of tries. I can't remember my pin, I only know that it started with a three. First it's gonna try a thousand combinations without a zero in front, so that's the three digit combinations. That takes a while, the first thousand doesn't count, so somewhere in the four thousand try it's gonna find it. So this takes a lot of time you guys, a lot of time. It's gotta be soon, it's not gonna take long anymore. So just wait a little bit longer. It's not gonna take long anymore, I've been saying that for a couple of minutes now. Oh, it still hasn't found it. 12 minutes waiting, we're waiting so long. Give us our pin code back, man, we need our pin code. That's why you guys are here. And as you see, it is trying everything, it's gonna give us our pin code pretty soon. But when? Whoa, it found it. Did you see that? Password is found, 3694. Yeah, that was our pin code. It took us 12 minutes. Woohoo, we did it again, you guys. So yeah, you guys, y'all Bitcoin d traders, we have found ourselves our password back. Totally forgot the password that we made a couple of days ago. And maybe in your situation you made that a while ago or you just forgot it for some reason. But this is the way to get it back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to brute force your Android spending pin. If you did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, it would be an honor if you would subscribe to my channel. Cause yeah, I make videos about Bitcoin every once in a while. My latest videos were all about decrypting your wallet and getting your passwords back. Cause that's probably the reason why you guys are here. But I also made a couple of, of vlogs or something. Sometimes I just like to talk about Bitcoin. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and that you learned something new today. And yeah, as always, see you guys next time let's do a dance 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 that's what I always do because I am happy that I did it again woo, woo, we got a password back woo, 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 woo. yeah 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 we did it again high five you guys did it work did you high five me mm.